Hello Space Cats and welcome back to my channel. In our solar system there are eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. So my question to you is which planet do you think is Earth's nearest neighbour? Is it Mars? Wrong. <coughs> Venus? That's wrong too. The Moon? That's not even a planet. In this week's video we're going to be talking about the planet closest to Earth. So let's do this. So which planet is it? Earth's nearest neighbour is in fact Mercury. Yes, you heard that right, Mercury. But if you think about it conventionally, how can this possibly make any sense? When we think about our solar system, we typically like to imagine the solar system looking something like this. The closest planet to the Sun is Mercury, at 60 million kilometres from the Sun. Venus is almost twice the distance out at about 110 million kilometres from the Sun. Earth and Mars are both similar separations out at 150 million kilometres and 230 million kilometres respectively. But then Jupiter is a whopping 780 million kilometres, Saturn is 1430 million kilometres out and Uranus is 2870 million kilometres out and Neptune is 4.5 billion kilometres from the Sun. If you look at our solar system like this then Venus should be our closest neighbour. But of course planetary orbits are not perfectly circular, they're elliptical. However, even if we account for the fact that sometimes planets are closer to the Sun and at other times they're further away and therefore also the same is true with respect to each other, Venus is still our closest neighbour. Also, not all planets lie on the same plane, they're in fact inclined at all sorts of inclinations, but this doesn't solve the issue either. The biggest problem here is that we've made one big assumption that is very, very wrong. Here, we've assumed that all the planets are aligned, in order, and are stationary. We often forget that the planets are almost never perfectly aligned like this and are in fact always moving. Researchers have recently come up with a very quick way to calculate the distances of planets with respect to each other and they call it the point circle method. So this method does not use the traditional way of using two circularly orbiting bodies but instead it makes use of the spherical symmetry of the orbits. To understand how it works, let's assume that the planets orbit the Sun on the same plane in a circle. Because Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, it has the smallest orbit. If we imagine that Earth is stationary, then the closest that Mercury gets to Earth is when it's on the same side of the Sun at 90 million kilometres, and the furthest distance from the Sun is when it's on the opposite side of the Sun at 210 million kilometres away. On the other hand, for Venus, whilst the closest distance to Earth is just 40 million kilometres, the furthest distance it can be is 260 million kilometres, much further away than Mercury ever gets. Similarly for Mars, the closest distance to Earth is 80 million kilometres, but the furthest away that Mars can get is on the opposite side of the Sun when it can reach 380 million kilometres. So on average, you can see easily that Mercury will be closer to Earth. In fact, not only is Mercury Earth's closest neighbour, but Mercury is the closest planet of every planet in our solar system. Because the smaller the orbit, the smaller the furthest distance that it can get away. So this method is really cool, it could help us make very quick calculations of distances between any set of orbiting bodies from artificial satellites to distant planets and their moons. These findings may also help us in assessing satellite communication transfers, where signal dips with the square of the distance. So Mercury is definitely a very special planet and in fact in 2018 ESA sent two spacecraft to study Mercury. But even though it's our nearest neighbour planet, it's still going to take us seven years to get there. 
The mission, collectively known as Bepi Colombo, will study the inside of the planet's interior to find out what exactly it's made up of. Its surface to learn about its history and its magnetic field to learn about the environment. So there you have it, Earth's nearest neighbor is of course Mercury. Thanks again for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.